Hey guys, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing absolutely fine and your preparation for the exams and the batch process is going really great. Uh, well, I'm so sorry. Uh, the last time I made a video was about three months back when uh, I just had got matched and I was in the process of, uh, um, you know, paperwork for everything. Uh, it's It's been a while. I was thinking that I will make videos, but uh, believe me, uh, post match process is also uh, tedious there is a lot of paperwork there is a lot of uncertainty uh, you got to apply for the visa uh, you get the visa you come here uh, then there is so much of uh, paperwork with the onboarding process and then moving into houses and things like that so and then of course uh, adjusting into the residency it's it's a steep curve I would say so uh, the, uh, I guess just because of that I was really occupied and couldn't make a video but uh, uh, believe me I know that the match season is approaching I know you guys are applying for the match and uh, this is a this is a time of the year when the when the anxiety is on peak uh, this is the time when there is a lot of uncertainty a uh, lot of questions a lot of new things coming so of course uh, I totally understand that but uh, uh, I will make a couple of videos in the coming months where I will be discussing specific things like uh, uh, for example when, when to send the letters of interest, what to write in the letter of interest, uh, Talking, we'll talk about the interviews but as of now I just want you to touch base and uh, just want you to talk about a couple of things which are most important in this point of time and uh, yeah and I, I know most of you guys have already uh, done those things but uh, just to uh, make sure that uh, that people who are delaying it they pay the absolute attention on those things uh, number one I would say the most important thing at this point of time is getting your letters uploaded um, you have done your hard work in rotation uh, you have done rotations you have secured letters from those uh, attendings but the thing is that uh, you have to get them uploaded and you don't have to delay them because at the end let's say when you approach the last week of September uh, every letter that is being uploaded uh, goes through something called as ECFMG processing and that has a timeline and let's say your letter is uploaded but it goes to processing and by the time when you wanted it to be on your ERAS it's not on your ERAS so the thing is that you you kind of lost that letter and I don't want that thing to be happening so uh, make sure uh, you kind of email the attendings and let them know that uh, the deadline is approaching and uh, uh, it would be very uh, you know favorable if they could upload the letters on time number one uh, number second thing that I want you to share is that uh, get the things uh, on the ERAS done by the medical school uh, so you have uh, transcripts that are being uploaded by the medical school to the ECFMG and then from the ECFMG come, they come to the ERAS. Second thing is that uh, the MSPE, uh, the medical school performance evaluation or the Dean's letter, it also gets uploaded via the med school into the ECFMG and then via the ECFMG it comes to the ERAS. So make sure these two things are uploaded. Uh, number three, your photo of course. Uh, you know uh, uh, don't take it lightly i would say but don't take it too seriously um, get a good eras uh, photo uh, compare with the uh, the photos that are there on the internet like there are a couple of photos on the internet you can just search eras photo sample and then you can show that to your photographer back in uh, your country or if you are in the US here they are there there are professional ones who know what is the eras what is the size and things like that uh, but make sure uh, you get a decent uh, photograph uh, you know uh, very important because uh, anytime your application is being opened like that is the first impression so make sure it is uh, good uh, you know should be uh, not too dark colors not too light colors uh, uh, you you can search on it. I, I'm not the expert in that. Uh, third thing is that ECFMG certification, guys, uh, very important on time. Please 
uh, you know i don't want to you to kind of delay things by day or two and then your ecfmg certification gets stuck and by the time you apply for the match uh, you you are not ecfmg certified i don't know what goes beyond the uh, you know application thing whether they kind of filter on the basis of ecfmg certification or no but why 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 to take a chance so uh, make sure you are ecfmg certified by the time you apply and uh, one day or two day like don't delay it at this point of time to be honest you know if you have to get a letter of good standing get it asap uh, if you have to apply for the pathway apply asap so do everything asap so that uh, by the time you apply you are already cfmg certified next is the program list so guys uh, i was not aware of all these things last year um, i would honestly tell you i didn't know the programs really well uh, sorry of course i knew the programs that i will be signaling but as a as a whole i didn't know the programs really well uh, my peers they knew so whenever i was doing a rotation or something like that i could see people uh, talking about oh that program is like this that pro I, I was like i have no idea and that is definitely a not a smart move so uh, you know start making program list early uh, be curious about the programs okay this program is in let's say atlanta okay oh how is this program what is the uh, average score of the people who match here what is the average demography or things like that really matters when you are applying you know okay this program has very few imgs so why to waste money you 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 got to save money right so uh, other things as well for example let's say oh this program is super img friendly i have a great chance matching here so let's apply here or even let's signal here so two things apart from that i would say very very important is to make sure the program where you are signaling i cannot uh, stress on it enough i would say last year when i applied i even kind of wasted few of my signals uh, signaling to the places where you know uh, i just went by heart i knew uh, that oh my profile doesn't matches here i don't have a chance but you know just to try luck but don't don't do that uh, be practical uh, you know the, uh, if if you do your signals at good places or, or like the places that kind of match with your profile you got a really good chance of uh, getting a reply back or getting an interview invite from there so don't waste that i know there are like three gold signals and 12 sig uh, silver signals you gotta sit you gotta go through the programs and uh, you gotta uh, you know make sure that programs where you are signaling are are the ones that really match your profile uh step three thing if you are thinking about taking the step three take it now I, I really don't know if you take the step three later whether it helps you in fetching interviews or not but definitely if you apply with the step three you gotta get interviews i have seen couple of people last year uh, the scores were not good but they had step three they had interviews so apply uh, so take the step three early so that you get the result early so that when the time you apply you have your step three with you okay next thing uh, get your cards ready the credit card uh, that you're gonna be using on the eras i know people last year uh, you know at the last moment oh i don't have a card or my card limit is is like this and so so what you you knew this thing already that this thing will be coming let's say you are applying to 200 program it is like five thousand uh, something dollars so you gotta uh, get those things ready uh six i would say reaching out to the people you should be uh, you know uh, uh i would say uh mindful of whom you are approaching uh, texting a random person on linkedin you know is not gonna help you because because those guys those people really don't know you and seeking recommendation or asking for a recommendation is not going to help you so reach out to the organic contacts that you have someone you know from your medical school or some someone who who knows you personally those are the people that can be you know reached out and uh, 
last but not the least guys uh, interview preparation is very very important uh, someone matches with one interview someone goes unmatched with seven interviews what's the difference uh, the interview preparation and the way they perform on their interviews are uh, really important you got to practice so much with with your peers uh, with your seniors and uh, you know of course uh, with with yourself like in front of the mirror uh, extensive interview preparation daily mock interviews are something that really helped me uh, last year and uh, i would say uh, make this a habit don't wait for your first interview to come sometimes they come at very short notice let's say of two days and like you are not prepared for the interview you are sabotaging your chance so with these um, you know i would uh, say thank you and uh, close this video uh, i will be making more videos in the coming days and uh, i'll probably be uh, seeking help from the people who are in different programs to kind of make podcasts and uh, talk on specific topics as uh, the time comes so good luck with everything and uh, i know you will make it thank you so much